of the 18th century. Cricket established itself as a leading sport in London and the southeastern counties of England, demanding the need for whole structure. So in 1744, the first laws of cricket were written by the Star and Garter Club, whose members ultimately founded the famous Merrily Born Cricket Club at Lords in 1787. But in 1760, a major change occurred in the game when the owner stopped holding underarm deliveries and began to fix the ball with overarms, which led to a significant increase in pace of bowling speed. In response to that innovation, the old hockey stick like bat was replaced with a straight bat. Then, first class cricket began in 1772 when the Hamilton Club organized three matches between Hampshire 11 and England 11, with the first part played at Broadhouse Penny Down on June 24 and 25. It marked the beginning of a new chapter in cricket history. As the British Empire expanded around the world, they took the same to North America as early as the 17th century, and in the 18th century, it arrived in other parts of the globe, like the West Indies, India, Australia, New Zealand, and South Africa in the early years of the 19th century. The first ever international cricket game was between the US and Canada in 1844 in New York.
your comprehensive presentation. You have taken us on a captivating journey through the evolution of cricket. We also extend our gratitude to the technical and support staff for managing the logistics and ensuring smooth flow of the event. To our audience, thank you for your active participation and keen interest. Your enthusiasm and engagement have added a vibrant energy to this program. Thank you, parents, for encouraging and supporting us. Once again, thank you all and let us continue to celebrate the spirit of cricket. Have a great day. Thank you. Okay? No screaming, no shouting, no 
you running around? Why do we tell you not to run in the corridors? Why do we tell you? You might get hurt. You know, the whenever a child gets hurt in school, okay, I know the maximum amount of fractures happen in the summer vacations, all right? But when a child gets hurt in school, the first question asked to us is, what was the teacher doing? Okay? What was the teacher doing is the first question. But I believe that if we all practice self-discipline, Stephen, if we practice self-discipline, it will solve many of our issues. I want all the teachers to speak to their students in their class about self-discipline. Alright? It will help us in going a long way. Uh, we have a lot of students who are coming late to school. Since it's the rainy season, alright, we are letting it go. But in the month of August, we will stop you at the gate. So if you don't want to be stopped at the gate, please come to school on time. Alright? If you are having difficulties in coming to school on time, please come and speak to us. Okay? Another thing is, uh, I'm getting a lot of complaints about uh, children hitting other children. How many of you are hitting your friends? Oh, no hands. No hands. Then I'm wondering why I'm getting complaints. Alright? Okay, self-discipline counts here also. But let me tell you one more thing. If you hit another child, if you hit another child, pay attention. If you hit another child, I will not let you go. Okay? If you hit another child, that is me. Okay? So please, do not hit other children. It hurts. Is that clear? Yes. Especially class 1. Teachers, I want you to discuss with the students why they should not be hitting other children. And class 2 also, but we start with class 1. Alright? So, what did Don Bosco say? Don Bosco said, run, play, but do not sin. Okay? So don't do things that will upset everyone around you. Alright? But have fun. Is that clear? Yes. So let's give class 5A and 5B another hand. Okay. Um, tomorrow. Tomorrow is a holiday. Don't waste your holiday. Is that clear? Yes. Shall we go back to class?